welcome to Style by Lauren Ryder. If you are new here, I'm Lauren. I love thrifting and taking pieces that I find and mixing and matching and playing around with my wardrobe. If that sounds good to you, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. This channel is all about fashion and having fun in your closet. Today's video is going to be about the spring 25 runway shows. I know fashion month just ended and I always get so much inspiration from the runway. So I wanted to share with you some of my favorite shows recently and uh, ideas on how to style these trends that are seen right now. So I know I'm going to be talking about the spring runway shows, but there are definitely some things that you can incorporate into your wardrobe and wear now. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first show that I want to mention is the Coperny show. It was amazing. So it actually took place at the Disneyland in Paris, and that's where the runway show was. It was so cool. It was very inspired by Disney princesses and Disney villains. It was in a really cool kind of edgy way. So I really loved how the show mixed and matched. I mean, this picture right here is the definition of mixing and matching to me. And I think it just showcases so well how you compare things that don't necessarily go together and make it look so cohesive and just so fresh. I love how they styled this Hawaiian shirt with a t-shirt. And then even look how they styled the bottom with the keychains or the charms and stuff on the belt loop. I think that is so cool. And I definitely will be doing that right now. You know, you could jazz up just a basic pair of shorts or a basic pair of jeans just by adding, you know how we're all into personalizing our handbags right now with bag charms and stuff like I for sure will be adding these just to my belt loop and I think that would be so cool what I also really loved about the show there was a detail that was just off it was a detail that was kind of like it made you think like hmm oh that doesn't go but it made me absolutely love it I mean there were looks with shoes with like little Mickey ears on it there were looks with like little black crowns as headpieces it was just so unique to me and I loved how they just, like I said, mixed and matched. So definitely if you haven't checked out the Coperny show, I would do that. I really liked it. Next, moving on, of course, I had to mention the Valentino show. So we know that uh, the designer Alessandro Michele, his first show with Valentino was actually at the um, resort 2025, but I, he just did the spring 2025 and I love both shows. I know a lot of people just thought that the show was kind of, you know, him goochifying the brand Valentino. And it really was just that, like you could totally see how every look was very, um, dramatic and there was lots of details in it. And you know, of course, I absolutely loved it because I am obsessed with him as a designer and he really was the one who really made me fall in love with Gucci. And so I'm so inspired by the double bags. So a lot of the models walking down the runway were carrying two bags. And I think that's so cool. And even carrying two bags that like don't necessarily go together, I think is really fun. I personally can do that very easily because I always have a lot of stuff that I got to bring with me everywhere when I go places. So two bags definitely are very practical for me at the moment, but um, I loved that. I also really loved how in this show, again, it was, there were some looks that were very ladylike and prim and proper, but there's always an element of something that is off or an element of something that's really unique to the look. So for example, dramatic hats or, you know, pairing, um, different prints together, different textures together. I really liked that. I really like like a really lady like top. And then like there was the nose ring and like just more edgy details. I think that's super cool. Of course, I'm obsessed with the polka dot boots because we all know I can't get enough of polka dot. Moving on to the Mew Mew show. So what really stood out to me from this show was the accessorizing. And more specifically, the double belts or wearing multiple belts at once. I think that's so cool. I actually used to do that and I completely forgot about it. I don't know what happened. I stopped doing that. And this show really inspired me to do that again. And I actually really like wearing two belts that don't go together again. So like you could wear a really formal like dressy belt, like a chain belt with a really casual buckle belt and mixing matching metals. And again, like textures, maybe like a leather belt, a suede belt and a chain belt. I really like that. That's kind of cool. 
And I know the show showed it, you know, overcoats and that sort of thing, which you can definitely do if you live in a cooler climate. For me right now, like I said, it's it's definitely way too hot to put it over a coat. But I actually more like the silhouette of wearing double belts, just, you know, even having a belt on your skin and then wearing a belt low waisted on your bottoms, like a pair of jeans. And I think that's a cool way of accessorizing and being a maximalist and really making a look a lot more interesting if you're just wearing a basic layer like a t-shirt and jeans and you know accessorizing is always a way to personalize your look i love it of course i have to mention the chanel runway show i really loved again the details in this show so there was a lot of ruffled collars a lot of um even it looks like feather collars which i thought was really unique and there was like these like flower ears, I guess I'm going to call them. I don't know if they're, I don't know if it was a headband or if it were like little pins that they pinned in their hair. But again, I'm always here for a dramatic accessory or a dramatic headpiece. So I thought that was really cool. And I really liked the denim with the sequin embellishments on it. And oh, another show that I really was inspired by was the Louis Vuitton show. So here I, really was inspired by all the grommet details like this hat was really cool i loved the grommet details and i loved the oversized puffy sleeve layers that were in the show they were also mixed with like different prints and stuff and textures which i thought was really cool and again you put like all the pins and stuff and just the different layers and details i thought that was really cool um those are just some of the recent runway shows that inspired me. I always love to look at the runway and see how I can incorporate some of those trends into my everyday outfits. I think it's just fun to try out new trends or try out things that I see and kind of make them my own in my own outfit. And hopefully this video inspired you to play around in your own closet and have some fun with your own looks. And just because I'm talking about the spring one ratios doesn't mean that you can't incorporate some of these trends or styles into your outfits now. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at style by L writer for my outfits. I try to post my outfit every day in my stories. Thanks so much for watching.